What is up guys and welcome to the first video of a hopefully many long series. So today we're going to be going over some advanced stuff for some developing coders. And today we're going to be we're going over HWID authentication that you can use on Discord bots, etc. Because I found that there were not many tutorials or examples on how to do this, so I thought I'd make it easy for some people who are trying to learn. So keep in mind, I developed this tutorial on the premises that I think that the people who are watching this have some sort of idea what they're doing, so let's get started. So I'm going to be hosting mine on just like a normal web server, so you're going to create two different files. We're going to have index.php, and then we're going to have another folder called storage, and then set the permissions for that so that only the owner of it can actually read, write, and execute it. And then inside of that, we're going to have data.json. And that's going to store all the HDIDs, etc. Of course, all of them are going to be hashed. So once you've done that, open up your text editor and let's get started. So we're going to start with an index.php file. So open it with PHP tags. And then we're going to start with checking to make sure that there are arguments in the URL for the actual HWID. So if get HWID does not equal blank, or basically if it has something in it, then we'll go to the next function, and we're going to have if file exists, and then we're going to have it in the folder, so storage, slash data dot json, we're going to go into the next function. So this is going to basically set up your two functions that we're going to have that like authenticate to make sure that you actually are inserting data and that everything that needs to be there is there. So get HDID that will get the arguments from the URL. So let's say that we went to charge dev dot xyz um slash tutorial slash index dot php dot hwid equals arguments are going to be anything after that. So this could be the hwid. So that's what we're checking for here, just to make sure that they've included everything that they're supposed to. Okay, so now that we have both of these things figured out, what we're going to do is we're going to read the contents of the data.json. So we're going to set current data equals, and then we're going to do file dot get contents or underscore get contents, and then the exact same link as before. So it's going to be storage slash data.json. And again, on every statement, you need a semicolon at the end of it to end the statement. And then we're going to set the array inside of it to array data equals. And then we're going to decode the JSON. So JSON decode. And then we're going to do that. Except this time, we can actually use the current data as the new variable. So current data true. And then another semicolon. So now that we have our array and our data defined, let's make it easier to use our HWID variable. So we're going to set HWID equals get HWID and then another semicolon. And then lastly, how we're going to insert the data is through a hash method called SHA256. So it'll basically turn whatever you enter into a 256-bit string. So we're going to set the encoded equals HWID. And then we're going to um, actually use that as a hash. So hash SHA 256 and then comma HWID and then end the statement. So now we have it gets the HWID from the data such that is a variable and then we also have a variable for the encoded version of that which is the 256 hashed version of the HWID. Okay so we're almost done. We're just going to add the final check to actually make sure that the data is inside of the JSON file. So this is actually the physical web auth part of it. So if in array that's going to check if it's actually inside of the array because the JSON that we're using is going to be set to an array. So you're going to have to set it to there. And then it's going to push all values to an array. So if in array, then you're going to have encoded because everything that's in the array is going to be stored as encoded data. And then as encoded, comma, then we're going to set it to the actual array data. So variable array data. And then put that as another. Um, with brackets. So anything inside of that, echo success, and then else. So basically, if it's not in the array, then we'll echo failed. So what this is going to do is it's going to see if the encoded hash is actually in the array of the JSON file, and then it's going to echo success if it is, basically. So 
if the HTTP ID is indeed whitelisted, it will add it as successful, otherwise it will echo it as failed. Okay, so our first method of verification is pretty much done, so we're going to copy that. We're going to go, to go back to the index.php file that we created in our hosting. We're going to paste it, save it, and now let's say that we have an HTTP, an HTTP ID of 2. We're just going to insert that manually for now. Of course, in future tutorials, I will show you how to add people to the HTTP ID, etc. So let's just say that we have that whitelisted. So now if we go to charge dev xyz slash tutorials is it tutorials or tutorial tutorial slash index.php hwid equals two it'll return it as successful because that is in the JSON. If we put it as say three, it'll say it's a failure. If you have no arguments, it will return because we set that up as the function here. So again, pretty much some basic stuff to start out with some verification in future tutorials. Make sure to subscribe because we'll be adding on more, going over um, Node.js requests, etc. to keep your bot secure. Now if you enjoyed this tutorial today, make sure to like and subscribe. And make sure to join our Discord for support if you need help with any of the code that I've gone over. And there are more tutorials to come. We hope to post one at least every day now. So we really encourage young developers to try and learn this stuff since it's really important for the future so just comment down below what else you would like us to upload and thank you